What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here with Lewis of LSU Football. Lewis, we're about to see something amazing. You guys, I hate to say, you guys have the, the best facility in the country football-wise. Do you agree with it? I agree, we like to think we do too. Awesome, awesome. Now, the last time we were here, shout out to Leland Bruce, we featured the Nutrition Center over there. Amazing facility, you guys do some amazing stuff. Shout out to Mike. But you have a story, something happened in there that uh, everyone knows about content-wise with LSU football. What happened in there? Yeah, so we were sitting in there, it was 2019, last week of the season, having lunch, and Joe Burrow walked in and he walked over to us and he's like, guys, I have a question. You know, when I walk out Saturday night for senior night, you think my, my name on the back of the jersey, can we spell it, you know, B-U-R-R-E-A-U-X? And we all kind of got chills, you know, on the back and we we're like, absolutely. So that's kind of where that whole, you know, project went down, just sitting eating lunch one day. So Lewis, now we're here, trophy area. Obviously, the elephant in the room, national championship 2020. But you guys are much more than this, right? You guys have literally almost every trophy, which that's a good problem to have. A lot of facilities, programs can't say that. It is. We designed this room and we had the trophies in here and then 2019 happened and we actually outgrew the room. So we had to come up with an expansion plan. You walk in and, and obviously we've got the, the 2019 SEC, the Heisman from Joe Burrow, the Natty right here, and then the CFP balls behind you with the AP trophies. And you walk in and you see that first thing. It's a wow factor. And then you look over and you can see our individual awards on this side. And we pretty much have every award covered and just the names, you know, Patrick Peterson, Tyron Matthew, Glenn Dorsey. Marcus Russell. I mean, it goes on and on. All right, Lewis, this is uh, unique to the, the facility, right? What, what are you guys doing here? So this is our walkthrough room. You can come in and let's say we can have a quarterback right here and you can put this film up right from the end zone and you can almost kind of reread defenses from the practice before or anything like that. You can kind of run the play for a second and a half and obviously you know what the play is and maybe there was a correction that needed to be made or something like that. You can also do it almost in like a Madden format. You can program the guys to do what you want to do. So it's not like a previous film type thing. Yeah, I've never seen that in any football facility. Yeah, I think it's the only one in college football. You guys have some amazing branding throughout yep. the facility, motion yep. branding, right? So it's just kind of, you know, a little, like you said, motion branding, highlights of the game, stuff like that. This is our meeting room hallway, position meetings. So the guys are walking past this all the time. You've got the Go Tigers rotating through there. You've got the Tiger head here changing. Just little visual cues here and there. Okay, so now we've moved into a position meeting room. We're in the quarterback's room here. The guys will come in here every day. They've got a meeting with their position coach. They'll go through what, you know, what we're gonna install in practice that day, or they can review game film in here, stuff like that. Technology these days though, man, like, all these meetings are recorded. Um, so there's a camera in them and they've got their iPads. So that night when they get home, they can rewatch the meeting from the day, they can rewatch the practice, things like that. It's really amazing what they can do on the tech side in the video world. Now during the season, what is a typical, I guess, week leading up to the game? Like do they spend time in here and then go to the theater room or how does that work? Right, so it'll be in the big room. We'll do special teams meetings um, and then come in and do position work in here. Or you can do offense, defense, right? We'll keep the offense in one room. We can put the defense in another room. They can do unit meetings and then break out into positions and then head out to the practice field. All right, Lewis, massive, massive to say the least. But uh, one of the newest, I guess, renovations that you guys did in here is, I mean, Coach Kelly's here now, so he has to bring his own message. Uh, you guys have new branding just all throughout this area. Yeah, Coach Kelly came in and rebranded this whole room. You know, we've got the schedule board in here now. We've got kind of the pillars of our program, the mission over here. You know, mindset, it's a big way that we do things around here. Traits of excellence, attitude, smart, grit, total preparation, like the whole body, you know, and then just our process, total preparation, like I just said, traits of excellence, mindset, and uh, the mission is to graduate our players and win the national championship, so graduate champions. Yeah, one thing I'm noticing, uh, every, college football facility has a schedule in some type of creative form. You guys have it right when you walk in, yeah, right it's up. right there. Is there a game that uh, everyone's anticipating more so than any other? The first one. The first one, <laughs> <laughs> it would definitely, definitely. Another elephant in the room, this projector, man. How do you even get this in here? This is <laughs> like, this is huge. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, I don't know the actual size of the screen in here, but it is massive. I mean, you see the size of the room, so you had to put it into perspective there. But yeah, that thing is impressive. This is a big Coach Kelly piece here. Uh, mindset is everything. You can see the little tiger uh, looking at the reflection in the water of the big tiger, what it can be, you know, when it grows up. So all Americans here, uh, another unique thing for every program is kind of featuring this 
this side of it. What is the code here for LSU football? In white, you've got just, you know, all Americans, right? Like, how is this guy just an all American? I don't quite understand that one. Uh, you've got unanimous all Americans here, right? And silver. And then gold is your uh, college football hall of famers, right? So maybe one day we'll get to turn Tyron from white to gold there. Yeah, definitely. He'll, he'll be there at some point. He'll be gold plated. So. Football season is finally here. The NFL season is kicking off, and what better way to activate that competitive energy than with the new DraftKings Sportsbook app, the official sports betting partner of the NFL. For all new customers, DraftKings is giving you $200 in bets when you place a $5 wager on any NFL action. So let's take it a step further. On the DraftKings Sportsbook app, you can make a $5 wager on any NFL action get $200 in free betting that can be utilized with same game parlays. This means you can combine multiple bets from the same game to give yourself a shot at even bigger winnings all season long. Don't forget, DraftKings is a safe and reputable platform that has been around for a while now and will allow you to withdraw your funds whenever you want. We know, we know, all states don't allow sports betting, but DraftKings Daily Fantasy has innovated even more ways to enable fantasy football to yield you a way to win some cash this football season. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code KOISKI and receive $200 in free bets instantly when placing a $5 wager. That's promo code KOISKI only at DraftKings Sportsbook. All right, Lewis, young athletes these days, you look good, you play good. They uh, kind of live and die by that moniker there. You guys have an amazing display of your apparel and also something very unique to you guys here. Is there a specific uniform that the fan base loves the most? And then also, is there a specific uniform that the players love the most? So I think the fan base is tradition, right? When you turn the TV on, it's the gold helmet, the white jersey, and the gold pants. We're gonna wear that in 90% of our games. We wear white at home, which is not normal. And then we wear it on the road as well. So uh, a couple times a year, we'll break out the purple jersey. And you can see that one there. Um, I think the players love when we bring out the white helmet and the white pants to go with that purple jersey. Okay. Clean look, makes them fast. But they do also enjoy, we can make it an all white as well. Put the white jersey with it and, yeah. and roll that way. Is there one that kind of deviated from the, uh, the traditional more than any through your 17 years here? It's LSU. You know, the, the two that would probably stand out the most in that aspect, old gold type colors or the purple helmet. That was one of our most fun projects we've ever done. Nike worked really well with us on that one. Definitely, definitely. Now behind us, you got like the frost window panes here. What was the thought process with this? Just kind of instead of a static display, like you said, things in motion, you know? It goes in and out, kind of popping off and, and showing off LSU brand, Nike, and things that we do around here from the equipment side of things. Right, right, right. Now, do we need a drum roll before we go into that next <laughs> We <interview>? might. <laughs> All right, Lewis, obviously this locker room is different, unique compared to any other locker room in the country, yes. but from the naked eye, what makes this locker just the individual ones, what makes it different? You see it in its, uh, its sitting up position, right? Um, guys can come in, we usually keep the lights low during the day, and then they can come in here, take this backrest, bring it down, put it here, pull out a pillow, and catch a nap. Goodness gracious. And then you guys have the chargers. Yeah, chargers for them, chargers up top in the lockbox as well, so they can put phones up there and charge them. Or if they're down below, they can be do it there. Now this locker room doesn't smell like a locker room. Right. At all. The bottoms of the lockers where you keep your cleats and things like that, it has exhaust air out. Uh, we're always pumping fresh air in. And then we have a separate room that we keep shoulder pads in that does the same as well. Give me the backstory of this place. I know when the design firm came to you guys and was like, hey, you know, you guys wanted something different. Um, how did it come to be this? Yeah, so originally it was, we wanted to make a sleeping room or an area for them to rest and things like that. And realistically, how many guys are you gonna put in a room to sleep, right? So we kind of turned towards what would be kind of almost like an airline look, right? The front of the big planes and fit it to be for a football player size. All the lockers do this and everybody can sleep in here at one time if we really needed to but it's a place for them to rest during the day. It's a busy day in college athletics. So if you need to catch a quick 20, you can come in here and do it real quick. Who had the wildest reaction when they first walked in here? We opened this in 2019. So a guy like Kerry Vincent was like a clown on that team. Not a clown, but you know, yeah, 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 like to have fun with everybody, right. which I think that's part of the underrated part of this locker room. Like you're talking about the locker individually, right? But as a whole, when we stand here, you can see from one side to the other. And so a guy like Kerry can be somewhere and mess with somebody two rows over. It's not really sectioned off. Everybody's together in here. 
uh, behind us, you said once a tiger, always a yeah. tiger. That's always been the moniker here. You have your own NFL locker area. Right. Is there one that comes back more than the others? A local guy like Clyde Edwards Hilaire is always around, but there's homes for everybody that's, that's in the league currently. And I'm sure it enhances the, the performance of the current team. They get to, you know, bounce ideas and stuff like that. Yeah, it's cool to have those guys in here. And, you know, these guys, like you said, with the, the more recent success with they're all relating to these guys and they're not much older than them. They can come in and see these guys and be in the locker room with them and these guys can teach them. So we've got my domain back here. We've got, you know, shoe displays and gloves and, and all the things that we need to get our guys successful for the day, whether it be just a regular workout or we're putting them in the, on the field for football practice. And you guys have a, a mobile way of recruiting, right? You guys have a chest that you can just pack around anywhere you want. Yeah. What's in that chest? We've got a big trunk that's got alternate uniforms, standard uniforms, kind of workout gear and, and history of our cleats, right? Nike treats us like an NFL team. So we've got the colored gloves, colored shoes, our logos, things like that in there. Now, every equipment room across the country has helmets from other teams. I think that's awesome, the way to trade, you know, helmets. But one thing about you guys' helmets, you have some of them autographed. There's John Hancock's from like some pretty uh, instrumental people in football. Uh, what are some of those? Guys like Brett Favre, Ray Lewis, Bobby Bowden. Just anytime there's like an NFL Hall of Famer or a legend from that place comes in, we ask them to sign it. Now, speaking of NFL, you guys have a unique way that you display your NFL Tigers. Yeah, so it's all digital. You know, we've got AFC on on one side, NFC on the other. And it even breaks down to the individual divisions, but it's our jersey cut with their LSU number just in their NFL colors. We've got our massive indoor in here. Uh, we've got a hundred yards. I mean, this, this building here, it, it's original to this area. It was made in 1990. And then we've turned it into, you know, what it is now. So we're here in the weight room now. The guys are in here a few times a week doing their thing. Coach Flynn is great with them. We have to work well together. We've got nutrition in here. Dr. Matt Frakes runs this domain back here. They're always taking care of the guys pre-lift, pre pre-practice, post-lift, post-practice, during, whatever they need to do. And now we make our way to this area where you guys, I don't know, I think you guys may run out of room here pretty yeah. soon. There's not much space left down there. <laughs> Obviously you have the, the national championship over there, but is there one that I guess the LSU Tigers, it's like a pride and joy trophy. Obviously all of them, right? The history of all the Sugar Bowls that we've won, or there's different games that you're not necessarily tied into as much anymore, the Orange Bowl and things like that, but you've got the past trophy down here still. Well, Lewis, we appreciate you giving us the uh, the tour of the LSU football facility. You guys are killing it, man. Go Tigers. That's G-E-A-U-X, right? Absolutely. <laughs>